Hi, I'm Jeremy Smith. Thank you for being my substitute teacher. I'll show you uh, where my room is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Brittany. Hi, Jeremy. <laughs> hey, all the way down here. Yeah, computer labs. I'm going to be in uh, room 114. Uh, what I'll do in this video is I'll show you how my room works, how it's laid out, um, how I arrange each, arrange each day. Um, so here is the classroom. There are 23 desks in here, and you may have noticed already, no teacher desk. There's another desk back here. So when you walk in uh, every day, this is kind of what you see. You kind of you'll, you'll walk over here, and uh, there's a. Um, I leave out a clipboard with you know, just just a simple blank piece of paper with the word uh, name level six, and the students are already used to seeing this. And what they do is they'll sign their name uh, to this uh, attendance sheet. Uh, I've been doing this because. I had trouble remembering students' names, uh, who was here, and, and instead of taking up time during class, uh, taking attendance, um, I just have them sign their own name, and uh, some of them are highlighted. Uh, well, what happens is uh, the first first period, uh, I'll um, come in and um, some people will be on time uh, here, and so those people that are on time. I uh, have already put their names down. I'll take a highlighter and highlight them, and so so as to indicate to myself later, those people are uh, not late. These people are late, <laughs> they, but they're not absent because they wrote their name. Over here, I'm going to leave um, four different folders. They won't look exactly like this, but I'm going to put uh, uh, deep, you know, deep, more detailed lesson plans for each day, for Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, I'm right here. Uh, inside will be any some any materials or uh, grade sheets that you might need. Um, so I, I, rec I have the students record here, but the students, uh, I'm sorry, but the office is going to provide uh, a separate sheet of paper that you just record officially on their uh, on their. Uh, there'll be a list of students, and you just mark them present, tardy, or absent. I don't know what it will look like. But just to get the raw data, you can have them right here and then transfer you know, the, the attendance information at the end of the day uh, to, this, uh, sheet, to, to these sheets of paper that the office will provide. And then you just turn them into the office and they'll record it uh, accordingly. And at that point, once it's all officially put away, you can just, if you want, you can, yeah, uh, I guess you could just put this in, uh, I normally throw this away, but why don't you, yeah, put it back into the Monday uh, envelope. This box I just leave out. I don't. Uh, I used. I had at the beginning of the semester. It's soft here. Uh, to put cell phones in, that turned out to not be such an issue. Uh, uh, that is to say, students having cell phones, and so I really don't take them up anymore. Um, so I, that that's. But that's originally what it was for. Uh, there's a chair that you know for you to sit down. Uh, I moved the teacher's desk out of here because really there's just no room to put a teacher's desk uh, in here. There's a fan back there, nice t two windows and the blinds open up, of course. I think this was your room <laughs> originally. Yeah. So here on the board, I uh, write the itinerary of uh, what we're doing that particular day, uh, Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll just leave it up here. Um, and it's here from the night. It's right here from the day before. So they'll walk in, and there'll be just no mystery about what's happening and when. Um, you'll notice that there's a, I write their North Star book, all the pages and activities we're going to be doing, and then there's their, their grammar book uh, and all the activities they'll be doing. I just turned on the video projector. You notice how uh, it covers up that board? Well, I um, that's why I put the itinerary on this side, and I. Uh, Put this uh, flag thing here as a marker so that, you know, you can write something on this side of the board and if you ever wanted to bring the projector up, you know right away, boom, uh, it won't be, you know, uh, conflicting with whatever you want to write up. 
So, uh, you know, for, for what it's worth, it's just a little <laughs> marker so, so that you know well, where, the, where it will project on the, screen, on the board. Video projector uh, remote power. Um, mute. What that, what that does, it doesn't turn the projector off, but it will just darken the screen. You see, you just turn it off there. But you hit it again, and it comes back up right away. So it's kind of sleep mode. Uh, so it won't take all this time to warm up again. So, uh, but if you uh, but if you hit the the uh, sleep mode, eventually it will turn itself off. Uh, those are really the only two buttons with the uh, the power and the um, yeah sleep mode. Actually, it's called AV mute. All right, so I have a stand-up desk, <laughs> and this has worked out all right. Um, this is not aesthetically pleasing at all. It's kind of ugly, but it's really functional. I like having, you know, <clears throat> everything vertically <laughs> displayed right in front of me. These are all worksheets that I've used before in the past, and I just, you know, don't want to go ser searching through a filing cabinet to find it. You will not need any of these papers here, but I just leave them as a resource because at maybe the last moment I'll decide, hey, boom, I can grab it. But that won't happen. I'll provide everything you would need in those uh, folders over there. So, other materials. Here's a pair of scissors. Okay, and a stapler if you need it. I'm gonna try to get this printer to up and wor uh, to work for you, but I <laughs> I haven't gotten it to work. It's just it's just here. But there's some you know paper you pull out, and that's the paper that I use to make the new um, the uh, blank attendance sign-in sheet there. Uh, all right. Here's that highlighter that I use for uh, highlighting their name whenever, for all the people that are present. Burp, 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 and then I'll tuck it away. No one's gonna sneak in and highlight their own name if they were late. But that just indicates to me that they are, this is great. These are just hold shoes, but it's right in front of you. So, uh -huh, uh -huh. Flash drive if you need it. There's another one up here, another flash drive if you need, want that flash drive, sorry. Mouthwash. No, well, you won't need that. I, I, I'll take that with me. <laughs> okay. Um, all sorts of other ugly things here, but um, here's, uh, here's how to operate the, um, this is the sound system. So you turn the power on, turn on, the volume goes up. Okay, that's how you engage it. So when you first come in, uh, in the beginning of the day, the computer is going to be off, and what you'll do is reach in here. You have to reach kind of far back, and you hit the power button. It won't be illuminating, you'll just have to search for it and hit the power button right in there. Yeah, but it's right above that little silver Dell, you know, okay. And, you, that, that's, and so whenever you uh, turn it on at the beginning of the day, this will come up, and of course, control, alt, delete. Uh, now, uh, by default, uh, the username is J Smith. That's fine, it's me. Uh, and I'll, uh, you put in the password, which I'll provide for you. First letter is capitalized. As, it, as it's written on the, uh, on the sheet there. If when you get to the listening activities, mm -hmm, right in here, yeah, this is a fold, okay, see so it's a folder, let me see if I'll zoom in, it says uh, audio for, dang it, audio for textbook. <laughs> Back up now. So you just click on that, then we click on that. That's a, um, it's a little sh open up and you'll see Level six and level seven. First and second period, basically nine o'clock till 10, uh, 50 is level six, listening and speaking. From uh, 1120 until 110 is level seven. First half of the day. Okay, so I'll open that up. I'm gonna back up, level six, everything is there. So. Listening and speaking, that's usually what I do at the beginning of the hour, so I have that folder open. Grammar book has some audio too, I don't use it very often. Uh, and the zip file you can just ignore, don't worry about it at all. But the first folder um, is, sorry, the first folder is listening and speaking. Here we go, so you notice how they're all level six chapter. You're gonna be in uh, unit eight. So there's the audio, there's all the audio that would just be for only this unit. Yeah. Unit five, follow your passion, All right. page 106. So you'll notice <clears throat> that pops up right away. Uh, it's, it's also labeled one, page 106, page 108, page 108. So they're all um, 
labeled in order with the page number right there. What's nice about this is it'll open up uh, Windows Media Player right away. Yeah. Grades. Talk to your child about the problem, but a student is ultimately responsible for his or her own success. Okay. So once that's finished, yeah, then it just stops, which is nice. It doesn't. You don't have to stop it. You don't have to, you know, it, it, and you want to play it again, you can. Unit 5. Yeah, you can do that. And if you want to play something else, just do, do, click on that. But remember, it all starts whenever you go to the folder right there in the middle, audio for textbook. So uh, it just goes all the way down. And then you can always, always back up, see, you know, back up, and back up again, and then you go to the grammar. There's, there's all the chapters. Okay, so there isn't a, a CD player. There's no... Um, a CD here. I have them all in MP3, and it's been very reliable. So um, there you go, Unit Five. Okay, um, and same would be true for, of course, when you get to uh, level seven. You back it up, uh, level seven. Same thing, arranged the same way. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you see it? Uh, level third period listening. Sorry, third period listening. North Star Four. Yeah. Normally, you don't deal with the the grammar listening, and this one you can just ignore. Yeah, well, unit one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, uh, level seven, unit five. Yeah, you'll be dealing with level with unit five on both books. The way I've arranged this uh, semester is <clears throat> uh, your morning classes, or the, the the first two classes and the last two classes are virtually identical uh, with different material. It's just easier for me. Hope it's easier for you too. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to introduce the books that. Uh, the students have and that you have. Um, the students have this book. It's your listening, speaking book, listening and vocabulary. The students have this. This is the, uh, the grammar book. It's the thick one. It's the one they use in class. And they have this workbook, which corresponds, of course, to the, the other one. And this is the where all their homework would happen. Uh, you don't have to ever see this un, until Tuesday when you check their finished work. So, uh, uh, on, for the most part, these two books are the ones that will be uh, used uh, throughout the whole period. You know, first hour, second hour on Monday. Okay, and of course, there's the teacher's guide, and uh, I have it uh, marked here. Uh, answer key. Okay, so uh, that, that actually is an answer key for the uh, this book right here, not for the workbook. Okay. Uh, but anyway, so what you'll be working with mostly are these two right here, the uh, class book and the, uh, North, uh, and the North Star book. Same is true for level seven. And again, this is the second half of the day uh, from 1120 until 110. Um, uh, teacher's book, and I have it marked here uh, for uh, answer key in the back. Uh, they will be uh, doing classwork activities in the big thick one here. And I have it marked as to uh, what page should be on. And of course, I'll have it written somewhere too. Uh, but all the classroom activities that we'll be practicing and doing in class will be here, uh, with this big one. And of course that's the second hour, this is the first hour, North Star 4. Um, North Star 3, you probably notice a little later on in the video, I'll show you that the, the answers are written in the book itself. Um, there's no separate answer key, so this is the teacher's edition of the book. Um, with the level seven, the answers are separate. Oh, nice. So, what's in these things here? You can uh, <laughs> open up, okay. All right, here's where I keep, now you feel free to keep, keep them wherever you want. First period is the one on the left, all right? I'm sorry, uh, first and second period, nine o'clock till 10.50 is on the left, right? Uh, listening to a speaking book, the grammar book, and a uh, teacher's book, the answers, and uh, a sample of uh, their workbook. A lot of books. I'll explain later how that works. Other one is the second half of the day. There's the listening to a speaking book, and the grammar book, the workbook, and teacher's book. It looks like a lot, but only um, you're only going to use class time with half of these, the grammar and the... Okay, the same would be true over there. So I keep the books in there. You don't have to, you can keep them wherever you want. Oh yeah, here's the mouse, by the way. I don't know if you saw that. It's wireless, by the way, too. So you can take it anywhere in the room, anywhere in the room and then just use it and then, you know, uh, you, you know, with the projector. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's wireless. The keyboard is not wireless. Their students might ask about this. Um, myenglishlab.com, you may remember 
all about all this. Uh, MyEnglishLab.com. Okay. There's, I have my, I have my um, address saved in here. And I just click on it. So this is my teacher account. You do not need to get into this at all. But if students ask about it, this is what it is. Um, this is their listening and speaking homework. Okay, uh, for level six and level seven, I put all of their homework on this website. And I, you know, before I leave on my trip, I'm going to assign all this, all the homework, and it will automatically grade it for you and for us. And so you don't have to deal with it at all. Uh, but this is what it is, and it looks like this, and then their, their grades are over here. But you, again, you don't have to deal with this at all. But if it's some student asks, then that's what it is. Home, to-do list, uh, all the assignments that they need eh, listed down here. It says Unit 4 right now, but you'll at the, the time of this, you'll be doing Unit 5. Level 6 is uh, 9 a.m. till um, 10.50 a.m. That's basically first and second period. Um, you may see it written on the attendance sheet as listening. That's basically the 9 o'clock hour. And then speaking, the 10 o'clock hour. But there's no break in between. So it's basically one, you know, two hour, almost two, one, two hour, you know, block. And that's where you have level six. And the, it counts as two classes. And they get, they get attendance for both classes. The first hour, they'll get counted present or whatever. If, they, if the student comes at 9 a.m., they're present. All right? If uh, they come between, if they come to class between 9 a.m. and 9, 10, a.m. All right. If they arrive and sign their name to the to the uh, attendance sheet or attendance yeah sign in sheet or whatever, if they just arrive. Then they are tardy. Okay. And then uh, of course uh, you know nine ten to uh, the nine fifty five. You, know, you don't have to worry about this so so heavily. It's, it's really the only the first hour. Yeah, they would be absent um, just for the first hour. Just for the first. Hour. Did I spell absent right? Oh my gosh! All right, so they'll be they'll be absent, okay, uh, for that first hour, okay. So so that is to say, if they come at you know, let's say a student comes at nine fifteen, that you don't count them absent for two two periods, okay. They would be counted absent for you know. The listening class, which would be first period, and I know there's no break in between, so but they would be that they'd be counted absent for that, and then for the speaking class, they'd be counted uh, present if they stay if they if they stay the whole time, of course, you know. Listen, I know that's a lot to manage, but you really the only issue. I mean, I, you've been here before. I think you know how it works, but basically the only issue people coming in late when you first get here in the morning. Uh, that's really the, the only time uh, this, this plays a role is do they come at 9 a.m.? There's a bell that's going to ring. It makes it very simple and clear, obvious when 9 o'clock is. And there's a bell that's going to ring at 10.50. And that makes it obvious when the class is over. So level uh, 7. All right. That happens from 11.20. And again, the bell will ring again until uh, 1 10 p.m. Of course, this is a.m., all right? So, as a, I mean, so you notice there are 10, uh, 1050. You probably remember this. From 1050 to 1120, you got a 30-minute break, all right? Yeah. I recommend you bring your own lunch. And, of course, you remember there's a snack bar, too, and you can, you can do that, too. There's a snack bar. You can get something uh, from, from there, like a little frozen pizza or whatever. But this is level seven listening and speaking. That's your second group of students. They'll come in. Uh, same thing applies. You know, if they're late within the, so if they come at let's say uh, 11:30, they would be considered, you know, or earlier, it'd be considered tardy. But if they can, uh, they come after, you're supposed to count them uh, ab uh, absent. So that doesn't really that doesn't really happen that often. Usually, uh, the issue with them being late and absent happens at 9 a.m. So. Uh, but I just followed the same rule. So what I do is uh, level seven, level six here. So level six on this side, bada bing, bada boom, right? So all I do is just, you know, same paper, 
and they just know to sign their name. You can ask them, please sign your name. You can remind them, please sign your name to this thing because I don't know your names and I'm still learning and I want to make sure I get your attendance accurate. So one page Monday, one page Tuesday, one page Wednesday, etc. One page per day, etc. So if Monday looks like this, so what I write on the board is that North Star book. That is, um, that is, uh, you know, this one right here, yeah. Um, all right, I'll, I will have a detailed description on the front of these envelopes as to what's happening, like on a Monday and then Tuesday, etc. cetera. Um, when you get to the, to the grammar book, grammar book, that's, uh, that's this one here. It doesn't say workbook. This is the, uh, the thick one. This one they use in class and they practice so that they can uh, get uh, their homework done and the workbook. They do all of this stuff uh, at home. I've already assigned their homework for the, the stuff you're going to check on Tuesday. But yeah, you don't have to deal with the workbook uh, until Tuesday. And that is to say you're only going to teach it. So there it is, you know, the English grammar uh, uh, North Star, first period, English grammar, second period. All right. <laughs> Usually I just uh, show them the picture and then uh, ask, them, uh, ask them these questions just to get their mouths moving. Yeah. Uh, passion is an activity you love to do. Look at this photo. What is this man's passion? Well, clearly he loves walkie-talkies. Okay. So uh, then you just uh, ask them about this. If this garners a lot of discussion, that's fine. This shouldn't take but maybe five minutes. Not even that. All right. This is just to transition them to... Um, to uh, 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 the vocabulary section. This is the vocabulary they're going to be hearing in the um, the listening uh, first listening activity today. Monday is about you know building some vocabulary, uh, listening comprehension, and then a little a brief group discussion about what they listen to. So the vocabulary there on page 106 has this little symbol, little headphone symbol. That means there's an audio file where they would listen and read at the same time as this introduction to. Uh, these vocabulary words. So, uh, so I would normally just let them um, hear the context of these new words. Some of the, many of these words may not be new, um, but um, you know, what I'll often do is I'll ask them. Everybody say, everybody say, major, major. They'd repeat after me, enroll. And uh, I'd often emphasize that the, this uh, the word major is two syllables, and you're stressing the first one, major. You know, instead of major. And again, same, enroll, two syllables. You stress the second one, enroll. Uh, tunnel vision, even though it's, you know, one point two points. I, I treat it, I speak of it like it's one word, so I'll stress that first one, tunnel vision. I'll even hold up my fingers like that. Shift, yeah, I'll ask them, how many syllables is that? Hey, they might say, no, they might say two, and I'll say, wrong, wrong. Go back to level five. No, I'll, shift, it's one syllable. Drop out strategy, etc. So they'll just repeat after me. Um, and if you uh, and sometimes at this this stage, I might um, give them other versions of this word. Right, uh, enrollment. Um, uh, a dropout can be a noun too. Right, that's a person. Uh, strategy or strategize. They'll all get a chance to uh, practice the other forms of this word later on this week. Uh, but uh, at this point, you can kind of introduce it to them. Let them. Um, you know, say the word and then say, all right, everybody, you know, find with your, uh, talk with your partner in English uh, and decide what definition is best to go with these uh, vocabulary words. Two minutes. You speak. I'll listen. I say that ad nauseum. You'll speak. I'll listen. You know, and I'll say, go. It goes to preview next. Um, there's a little thing. These are interviews. Two professionals talk about their uh, role. Uh, the role their parents played in each other's lives. So at this point, the preview is just guessing about the, from the, listen to a small excerpt. Do you think Julie's father is su was supportive in her career? Oh, by the way, you notice this is the teacher's book. They have all the great, all the answers in here. Hmm. They, you know, they, they don't have them written in there. Do you think uh, Julie's father was supportive of her change? And so I'll read the question ahead of time. Why or why not? And do you think uh, Simon's parents were supportive of his career change? Why or why not? You know, Julie could tell, yeah, that's, a, that's a female name, so you're going to hear the female voice. Do you think 
Uh, Simon's parents, did I say Simeon? <laughs> Simon's parents, that's a man's name. So you'll listen to this small part, and what do you think? Julie's father, supportive? Simon's parents, supportive? Why or why not? We're just guessing. And so at that point, of course, I just bring them back over here, and we just listen. And the next one down after vocabulary, you notice is preview. Listening one, changing career paths. Page 108, preview. Yeah. They tried saying, we're your parents and you're going to do this. Yeah, yeah. So they'll listen to the rest of that little clip. That's, that's only about 10, 15 seconds long. And then I'll say, all right, what do you think? We're just guessing at this point. All right, what do you think? Yeah, we're just guessing at this point. Do you think he's um, uh, supportive or the father is supportive of Julie? Uh, do you think uh, Simon's parents are supportive? Why or why not? And really, uh, they, they can... In, infer all sorts of things and we're just guessing at this point just to get their mind stimulated all right i'll say all right here's your listening challenge main ideas mm -hmm. yeah either julie or simon remember julie is the woman simon is the man right i think they already know that but yeah one of these people studied hotel and restaurant management listen for that julie or simon went to law school which one julie or simon etc okay and of course it, it resumes up here so at that point, I'll um, play the whole thing. So I, I pre-read pre all each of these ahead of time. Say it out loud. You can have them repeat after you if you want. And so they just are read, know what to listen for ahead of time. And so at that point, I read to the vocabulary preview now. Page 108, main ideas. Yeah. Exercise one. It's the whole thing. Eric Michelson talked with two professionals to find out how their parents... And that's about four minutes long. So they'll listen to that. And then uh, when it's finished, oftentimes they'll say, Oh, teacher, they talk so fast. Uh, and I say, yep, this is a real world interview. A real Americans talking. And I say, all right, everyone, talk with your neighbor. Uh, yeah, some of you like to work quietly in your book, but let's get your mouths moving. Talk to your neighbor. D uh, tell each other what you heard. One, two, three, four, five, six. One minute. You speak. You speak. I'll listen. Go. Fast. I said, okay. So we'll go over the answers and I say, yeah, it was Julie who said this. And maybe if um, I might ask, well, how do you know? And, or, you know, if, if, it, if it warrants a follow-up question. Fair enough. All right. So you notice that there's also details. Now that's listening to the same thing again, but just for details that are true and false. And so I'll say, all right, everybody, we're going to listen to it again. This time, I'm going to pre-read these. I might have to say, okay, so-and-so, and that is to say, one of the students. Yeah, pre-read number one. Do, 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 do. And they'll say, I think it's true. Well, we don't know yet. We need to listen to it. Okay, number two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They'll read that. I so said, get all the way down, pre-read all these. Um, I'm probably I'm probably going to give it way more information than I need to. So, all right, everybody, notice... Uh, so now the second time we're going to listen to this, uh, in the back of your book, there is a script. It's there on page 225. And so it's right there, uh, main ideas. 225, I'll make it really big and I'll circle it. Go there, you know? And normally what I do is I'll tell my students, all right, if you see any word, any other new word in this script that's new to you, when we listen to it a second time, if you see a new word or expression, go ahead and underline it, make note of it, and we'll talk about it afterwards. All right? Okay. So in that point, I'll just go up here and hit play again. Page 108. Da, 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 da. Main idea. It's the exact same thing as main idea. To it, I'll ask them, all right, students, so you heard it, you listened to it, did you see any new words that were new to you that uh, maybe were not a vocabulary word? And they'll say, a couple of them might say, mm-hmm. Like, okay, no, all right, fair enough. All right, well then let's go back and let's talk about the details. So back over here, details. All right, everybody, talk to your neighbor. One minute, decide if these are true or false. You'll speak, I'll listen, go. And maybe they heard that it's false and say, all right, all right, tell me, why is that false? So we're done with uh, discussing the topic, previewing the vocabulary, listening for main ideas and details. And if we got time, if we have time, it really would be good to get their mouths moving and talk about this topic. Where it says expressing opinions. There's just a couple of discussion questions. One of these may be better than the other. And I'll say, all right, everybody, just repeat after me. Do you think, do you think that Julie and Simon's 
all right, et cetera. And they're gonna, why or why not? All right, and you think about it, your opinion, mm-hmm, talk about it. I'll walk around, you'll speak, I'll listen. That first half should last for the first hour, should last until about 9.50, 9.55, maybe 10 o'clock, all right? All right, everybody, yeah. Take this book and put it away. You don't need it anymore. Hey, all right, everybody, get this book out. Remember, it's the thick one. Yeah, the thick one. They don't really ever bring out the workbook unless it's, uh, I'm checking it, but uh, you still have to remind them. Uh, so you'll, of course, write other things here um, on the board. Um, level seven, it's identical. It's identical. They'll just do the very first thing at the beginning of the chapter, and I'll have it written on the piece of paper. Same process, basically. It's Tuesday. All right. <laughs> okay. Just turn the computer on. It's hard to reach, but there it is. Take this marker. That bell rings. You know, uh, all the names that are already there. <laughs> Highlight them and say, ha, ah, those people are on time. It's Tuesday. Uh, 107, review the vocabulary. That's what's going to happen in the North Star book. And uh, then they're going to preview some new vocabulary and do a listening comprehension activity. Uh, in the grammar book, students already know about this. Today, uh, homework grade is due. Uh, they have to uh, you know, break out their workbooks and, uh, and show what's going on to you. And, uh, and, then, and then we'll uh, switch gears and get to the main textbook and you know, uh, do activities together. Yeah, so level six. Yeah. All in here. I just leave them in here. Yeah, you arrange it however you want. All right, everybody, let's go to page 107. Let's look at these words again. Everybody say major, major. Yeah, I have a major headache. Yeah. His name is, <laughs> and you can name one of the students. Yeah, they love that. Um, now, uh, enroll. I uh, enrolled in LIT and just in, and have them repeat after you uh, using the word in a sentence. Uh, I need, uh, the office needs enrollment. You know, use the other forms of it. Just to start, you know, giving them idea of uh, other forms of these words. This would may take about five or six minutes. Go through all of them, just have them repeat after you, just to get them primed up and ready for, you know, because they're going to see these words again on Wednesday and on their homework and et cetera, et cetera. We're gonna preview uh, new vocabulary uh, and listen to uh, do our second listening activity. So, page uh, 112, the words that are in bold, you know, you'll just, everybody say, volunteer, volunteer. So, here's your challenge, everybody. Yeah, so figure out what your talents are, talk to your parents, uh, get work experience in high school, and they'll probably already started to be guessing at this point. It's page 200, 112. Listening to Finding Your Passion, page 112. All right, so everybody talk to your neighbor. Which one did you hear? Is a hmm, two, three of these. And then they'll, then they will uh, talk to each other about that. Um, all right, at any rate, at that point, uh, when you're finished with the listening, uh, listening to it the first time, just like yesterday, just like Monday, and I say, all right, everybody, put your hand in the book. Let's go back to the back here. It's going to be on page uh, 226, down here at the bottom, where it says listening skill two. If you see a word or expression that's new to you, you're just going to underline it. We'll talk about it afterwards. And so they listen to it a second time, and then, all right, did you hear any new words or expressions? Did you see something? And they say, yeah, what is this? And you talk about it and explain it, and then, uh, okay. And that should be the end of, that, uh, of the second listening activity. There's no more listening comprehension questions. The second time of listening through it is just so that they can listen for words that they may not have heard the se the, that first time. So, all right, everybody, you're done with the uh, listening book. Put it away. So everybody is going to pull out their grammar workbook. All that, that you do is you go around with the, uh, the clipboard, and I'm going to have a, a sheet of paper with their names and uh, a place to put a grade uh, next to it. Uh, I'll have that for you uh, in, the, uh, in the, uh, uh, one of the folders over there, um, a place where they can record their grades. And uh, basically, it's a completion grade. So they'll turn to page uh, 170, and I'll just walk around one at a time. And I'll just say, okay, okay, good, keep going. Okay, good, yeah, okay, keep going. I'll just glance at it. 
And um, what I keep in mind is that there's a total of um, 35, 34 activities. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah. So basically, generally, uh, each activity is about three points each. This is a very subjective grade, but in order to make it more objective, uh, to calculate a number on their progress, um, if they start, if you start glancing over and noticing that there's some of these activities are blank, you can kind of keep a mental, mental tally. It's like, all right, you went through these and each page one at a time. You say, okay, let me see it, let me see it. And you count it up and you notice, okay, this particular student didn't do about five of these activities. Well, there's 35 total, three points each, so you can write down um, 85. You know, again, uh, on a sheet, of, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a, yeah, again, on the um, grade sheet that I'll provide in the envelope, but uh, yeah, this, this, this thing is handy to carry around. At any rate, um, so once you get around to everybody, this will take about 10, 15 minutes, uh, pretty long. <laughs> and uh, once that's all done, I say, all right, everybody, workbooks, you can put them away. Don't need them now. All right? Hmm. It's probably at this point when you finished uh, recording the homework grade, you probably started uh, recording about 10 o'clock in the morning and probably done about 10, 10, 10, 10, 15. And so we have another 30 minutes left uh, to do activities in the, um, yeah, the main grammar book. Okay, so you're done with level six, and uh, these two activities will be also true for level seven when they come in at 11.20. Um, so all you need to do, really, is change the page numbers, because you're gonna do the exact same thing in their, uh, in their book. Same process, I'll have a grade sheet available uh, during that second hour, so you can, you know, like, as you just look over it. Level seven, you'll probably have, they'll probably have about uh, 19 activities. So, if they're missing an activity, it, it was, there's, there's about five points each. <laughs> wow. Because there's fewer activities, and if they, you know, are skipping some, then they'd be five points each, not three points each, like level six. Um, 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, 20 when you'll check that. And then, and just like before, I'll say, all right, students, see this thing here? Eh? Put it away. Oh, thank goodness, it's Wednesday, all right. Okay. No, okay, I'm gonna start with the grammar book today. That's uh, what I do, I do all the grammar activities first on Wednesday because it's just uh, easier because I've got a lot of uh, stuff, the, the, the grammar, the vocabulary, uh, that's better suited for the second hour. So I'll give you details about the grammar book uh, that uh, later. So let's assume 9 o'clock to 10, uh, 9 o'clock to 9.50, um, that's covered with grammar activities, review, practice, etc. Today you're going to give them a vocabulary quiz uh, from the information that's on page 107 to 112. Um, these are the vocabulary words that are, uh, that, that are in their book. Um, so, uh, right about the, the, the 10 o'clock hour, uh, you'll notice, the, so these, so you'll say, all right, Mr. Um, Mr. Amir, use the word bribe in a sentence. And he'll do it, and then you write down uh, a, a grade. I'll give you a, a grade sheet, just like I did with the, gra uh, the, the grammar quiz. Uh, you'll have a certain grade sheet for all these students on a certain day. They'll be uh, located in the folder that's, uh, you know, in that box there. Uh, at any rate, you know, it's a very subjective grade. Did they pronounce it right? Did the proper grammar? Did they show that they understood what it means? And you, you might want to follow up, say, hey, well, what does that mean? Strategy. Or if they end up using the word strategize in a sentence, that's fine. Supportive or support. They can use that in a sentence properly. Some derivative or form of that. Vocabulary expand. All right, well, that's, that's located in this book on page 116 to 118. So it's a bit of a review of these. You just kind of uh, go with, uh, have the students fill that out to, uh, with, with each other and then uh, and talk about it together, have them repeat after you. And then they got some new words over here. They're in bold. Play your cards right. Play second fiddle. This is an expansion of uh, other vocabulary words that will also be in their uh, uh, online homework. Then you tell everybody, all right, you're finished with your grammar book. You're finished. You're finished with this book too. Put ev take everything. Take everything off your desk. Take everything off your desk. 
you'll see little, little bags with slips of paper in them. Those are all the vocabulary words and all the forms of those vocabulary words. You're going to have them break up into little teams, team over here, team over here, team over there, team over there, whatever they want to do, right? And you just give one of the bags to each team respectively, and they have all the vocabulary words in there that they, they want. So they're going to start making sentences on their tables. They only have nouns and adjectives and verbs. They can't make uh, sentences with that. So second drawer down. Check it out. Words. Here, break this, pull this out here. All those are words, right? So they're in a team over here. They're just going to make some sentences. They know what to do. They've done this before. And you say, all right, here you go. And they, they're color coded too. So this is, these, are, uh, uh, um, these are modals. The green ones are all modals. The green, uh, light green ones are uh, noun modifiers. Each group gets, gets a, a pile of these. This lasts about 30 minutes. This is a great activity. This is what I look forward to with Wednesday <laughs> because it's you know, engaging and also keeps them engaged. They're not just passively listening, but they're all, it's a competition. See how many complete sentences they can create using um, these, uh, uh, these plus the other white pieces of paper to create complete sentences on their table. And so when it gets close to the bell time, maybe 1050 or so, 10, 1040, 1045, you go around and I'll say, all right, everybody, let's read your sentences off for me, blah, 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 blah. And then you you know, and and all all the while along, you can help them just say, okay, and it's no, uh, you, you can't make a sentence with just those words. You got to include a preposition and explain why, and and then they try to figure out creative solutions to make a complete sentence. So when it comes to cleanup time, this is really handy. You can just uh, you know, scoop all of it in here, throw away those white ones. We don't need the white ones anymore. They can throw the white ones away, little white pieces of paper, because I just print those out every semester. But these, and you know, these are laminated. I want to keep those. Yeah. We'll do the same thing for level seven. Some grammar activities at 11.20. And then when it comes to about 12, whatever, 12 o'clock noon, give them a vocabulary quiz. Of course, those are, those are different page numbers for level seven. And of course, there's an expansion activity, different page numbers. And then the vocabulary game, about 30 minutes. Give a good 30 minutes for, this, for them to do this. Oh, it's finally Thursday. Uh, making inferences, listening skill, pronunciation. These are leftover activities that, that, you know, that they're going to have to be accountable for on their homework, online homework activities. Uh, but uh, we just haven't gotten to them yet because we've been focusing on vocabulary and listening. Here on Thursday, there's uh, making inferences. You, it's rather self-explanatory. Uh, you read the instructions and, and then practice with them together. And Some of them are listening comprehension. Some of them are about pronunciation. Uh, asking for uh, follow-up questions. That's more about style. Um, it's good that they go over this because they'll be faced with an activity on the internet uh, on their online homework that will be very similar. And, they, uh, and some of these are really in elementary. Some of them are not that difficult, but some of them, uh, unless you practice it with them, they won't know what to do. They, uh, <laughs> yeah, infinitives of purpose. See, the yeah, grammar I skip it. I also try to skip it in the homework too because we already have an entirely different grammar book. Yeah, uh, this has a grammar section. You just, I just skip it all together. Classroom management. Oh, it's not really that big a deal, honestly, because they're all college age people. But uh, and uh, if you're going to have an issue with it, you're going to have an issue with it in uh, level six, the first half of the day. And so to that end, I have already made a seating chart for some of the people that should be separated because they'll be easily distracted from each other. Rizwan is right here, you can't see that. Back there in the corner, Zoeb, and up there is Tofi. Elvish and Tofi, they're brothers. It'd be good if they were separated. They've sometimes been showing up late anyway. Uh, the classroom management hasn't really been a common issue so much anymore, but they're a lively group sometimes, and you can harness that and use it for, for, for their speaking abilities. And But oftentimes, uh, Maybe goofballs. I don't. I don't want to like uh, stigmatize these students right away, even before you get here. Um, but uh, or make you worried about them. Uh, generally speaking, everybody here is is great. They participate. They, they especially if it's if you have clear instructions and expectations, then uh, there's no. Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, have a good week, and I hope you uh, enjoy it. Um,
I will not be able to be contacted. I, I, I'm going to be on a, a cruise ship, so I'm gonna, my phone won't work. I won't have email. I won't, I'll be in a black hole uh, communication-wise.